Hey legends, how you doing? Welcome back to another episode of Gracefield Family. Yeah, good to see you. Good to see you. Today we are diving into family team nights. Yeah. So this is a practice that we have started in our family and it has changed our family immensely and we want it to change yours too. So stick around and find out what it is. So, Family team nights. Family team nights. One of our favourites. This is something we sort of stumbled across. I, I've listened to a lot of podcasts about patterns and rituals and that sort of thing. And uh, as I listened, we kind of talked about it and constructed it. Um, before we put this in place, it's not like our family was terrible. It's not like we hated it. It's not like we didn't have any form of intentionality. It was actually going all right. But we both sort of had this discontent of how do we bring this together like it's so and, important to us and particularly the more children we had and yeah. like the variations of our family life changed a bit yes. didn't it and it, it yeah and we last, were like, what can we do to actually yeah like really connect our family well connect it together and the last thing we wanted was just sort of a family that like ate some dinner in front of a tv mm. and then went to bed and woke up the next morning and got ready for school and off we went and we didn't see each other um we wanted to be a wanted to be a family that lived really intentionally mm. and so uh, through a few different bits and pieces we settled on family team nights and family team nights we didn't realize how much but they have brought so much intentionality mm. into our family and they have like bonded our team uh, in a way that we sort of didn't really expect did we no not really it was like oh let's try this it sounds good and let's try it but it has been phenomenal. We love it and our kids love it. They really, really love Family Team Night every single week. They look forward to it. They get sad if it doesn't happen for some reason, which is very rare very because rare. we really protect the night. But they, everyone just loves it. Everyone helps, everyone pitches in. It's yeah. great, isn't it? Yeah, and so we wanna share this with you because we think you will love it and this will be something that will like transform your family um, we as also, well. Yeah, we've also made it really fun as well. Um, and if you head to our website, you'll actually see some some footage of us having yeah. a, a themed night, which was really funny. Yeah, yeah. Um, that was such a funny night. But yeah, it's, it's really fun. And actually on the website, it's also got some other resources that can help you to formulate yours and formulate values because your family values really come into yeah. this really in intentionally so yeah head to there and you'll find resources you'll it's also in our five um five day five free guide free day yeah. guide as well but like what, rituals what is it Steve? Yeah, what do we do yeah, absolutely <laughs> um Rituals and practice, practices are so incredibly important. As people yeah. of faith, you can't read the Bible and not see that God is an ordered God mm. and that he loves rituals and practices. He also likes to disrupt things, which is really, really nice, but he likes the regular and the regular connection. And if you think about church and sermons, they're always talking about you know daily reading of your Bible, that sort of stuff, uh, for transformation and renewal. Practices and rituals are important to God, so they are like really important to us. Yeah. And uh, regular rituals and practices, what they actually do is they build strong connection so that when you do the big ones, you know, family holiday or going yes out on a yes day for the day or whatever it might be, when you do those big ones, uh, they're actually way better because you've had that regular connection and regular regular connection with yep. your family is so much more important than one-off big things that happen. Yeah, the little things are really important, which can then help the big things, isn't it? Absolutely. Yep. And so family team night, what it is, is once a week, we decide that we are going to have a dinner together with a structure that is set and that we stick with. Yep. And so uh, it's a regular connection point. So we start off our night with going around the table and we share one low and we go around and share about lows. Mm. And it's really interesting. Sometimes that can take a while because sometimes there's things that we need to unpack. Yeah, that we haven't talk. even known. Yeah, haven't known. <laughs> so we pack through that and then we go around and highs and we and we do as many highs as, as people want to. And that's from the, the week uh, prior to that. So highs and lows allow us to have uh, a connection every week. Yeah, and those highs and lows aren't necessarily just from within our home either. It can be a low from school or yeah. a low from work or whatever, or a high from something that they've done outside of the house Absolutely. as well. So, but it's just a really important 
thing to check in. How are you going? Absolutely. <laughs> Pretty much, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and what was, what's the other one? Highs, lows, and the kids talk of another one. Something funny? Yeah, something funny. I don't know. They've got a word for it. We, we, they add it in. Yeah. Um, but yeah, <laughs> share something funny from your week as well, yeah. which is really fun. We, we add that um, as well. Um, the other next thing is that it gives us a chance mm. to reinforce and talk through our values. So every week we look at our values list and we just go down the list week by week. And remember a little while ago we did a blog about um, family values as well, one of our starting videos I think it was, yeah. and um, how you can do them. And our website also has resources to help you make yours as well. Yeah. But the values, it. I guess family team night gave it a chance to instead of the valley just looking pretty um, in <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> on our you know mantle, it has actually become a mantra in our yeah, family, hasn't absolutely. it? Absolutely. And so yeah. we explore them, we talk about them, uh, we set challenges. So if it's say to speak life, um, then we'll say uh, go to school tomorrow or during the week and look for someone you can speak life to. Um, There's been so we go through one value for the yeah, week. Yeah, per week. And one that was really special was um, thoughtful actions. Mm. And what can you do that was thoughtful? Come back next week with a. Having done a random Having act of kindness, a random thoughtful, thoughtful kindness. action. Yeah. And it's amazing what happens. Yeah, it's, it's awesome. awesome. It was really cool. Oh, I did this. I did this today. Or I did this last on Monday and we have it on a Thursday night. It yeah. was, they actually really are thinking about it. It's being intentional Absolutely. the way they live, which is super cool. Um, and they get excited to do a thoughtful action. And so it's, that's, we teach through and we have fun with our values and yep. go through our values each week. Another, the next part of our night is the week ahead and we look at the calendar and go through what we've got on so that it's predictable. People know what's happening. They know the routines as well of, um, you know, even basketball game, what mm. time the basketball game is and things like that. So we're just all on the same page. And we find that really important for kids and particularly as teachers, kids kids need to know what's going on. Not all the time, um, uh, sometimes surprise days we do. And, and they're aware too that things can change. Absolutely, but yeah, having some predictability mm. in their life is, is really important and builds that, that safety as well. And, and then, then <laughs> this is always an interesting time of the night. We open it up for any other business. And really what any other business is all about is being able to air maybe something that's frustrating you or something that you're not loving. Sometimes it's something that you're thankful for or whatever. But usually it's like, hey, guys, no one's ever filling up the toilet paper. Um, what else have we had? We've had... <laughs> Um, please don't touch anything in my room. <laughs> yeah, please don't go into my room and touch things. Um, I've got this new toy, whatever. It's, it's a cool time where the kids can talk about things. We do have to somewhat sort of control it. Yeah. We do have to keep it. Um, Often it's actually like us as parents yeah. saying something like, yeah. for example, there's washing left on. Or your school bags are never put away. Yeah, and, things like yeah. that. So just, just things ways of managing the home and so the, any other business really addresses any any problems instead of getting angry all the time yeah it's like all right let's talk about it then um and then it's able to talk about it in a calm way and then for the next week if they don't follow through with that remember we talked about this at family team yeah. night that your washing should be in the washing basket yeah and, and what that does is it allows you to everyone to have an opportunity to air the things that are frustrating them so there's not any build up of like resentment. frustration and resentment like it's yeah. able to be laid out there uh, and do that so that's uh, that's a cool time and you never know what's going to happen <laughs> um, and the last part that's really important for our night is we finish with the Lord's Prayer together mm. and also a worship song and so we worship the Lord together the kids often get up and dance and it's really fun sometimes it's a kid song sometimes it's not a kid song but it's also always a worship song of some yeah, description absolutely. isn't it yep. yeah which is great usually a dance worship song isn't it a kids based one or whatever because yep. our kids are smaller but uh, yeah, we do have um, some good worship times together. Yeah. Um, and another thing we do, we, we don't do this as regular as we probably would like, but um, it's something that we, we've done uh, is include our grandparents. And it's not just having them at the table, but it's asking them if they could come with a story from their mm. childhood to share with our kids. It's actually um, been really special, hasn't it's it? It's been super special. Yeah. Grandparents love it. They feel ultra honoured. Our kids get to learn uh, about their grandparents. Uh, that's one thing I remember when my nan was on um, like a, her last um, last month, uh, I spent a little bit of time with her and she'd share stories that I'd never heard before. And it was so fascinating. And that sort of inspired us to go, hey, mm. we want our kids to hear the stories from our grandparents, uh, from their grandparents and, and do that. So including them has been a really cool addition. Yeah, and it's also been 
you know, the extension of us as well, isn't it? Like mm. we've come from these families, so they yeah. learn more about us as well. Yeah. And also the safety net and building that safety net for our kids, that grandparents yeah. are a really valued and important part of our family, as is the other extended family as well. Yeah. But it's been just really special to invite them in on that. And they can also be a part of our lives and know what we're doing with our yeah. family as well, which has been a really important and special part as well. So our encouragement for you is how can you start a family team night or a family team time in your family? Now we mm. are also aware that we are teachers and our schedule is pretty predictable, Predictable, but there are people who shift work and have other jobs and other part-time jobs. Their kids might have part-time jobs, but our encouragement is to find a time that it could change for you guys each week if you're shift workers, but find a time each week that you can intentionally bring your family together in that family team time to connect. Yeah, it's really good to have it around the same time. So ours is Thursday nights. We pick Thursday nights because there's usually like churchy type commitments on a Wednesday and Mondays um, school events always seem to happen on a Monday. So Thursday seemed a pretty safe night and we protect that as much as mm, possible. Yep. There are times where we have to shift it, but we just do that when we make it happen but it's not something that we um shift unless it's for a really good yeah. reason like work events for me usually yeah um and so we protect it on a thursday night um we also stay with the kiss principle keep it simple stupid not yeah. that we're calling you stupid but keep <laughs> it simple right when we first started it we were like oh let's have this amazing meal every time <laughs> and we had dessert and special drink and and we made it bigger than ben hur and it was more stressed than it needed to be. Yeah. And so we've just kept it simple. So we do try to do meals that we all like, that we're all gonna mm. eat, okay? But it doesn't have to be extravagant. It doesn't have to be nice. Another way we keep it simple is the kids actually set up the night. Yeah. And so it's special because we have the plates all set out. We have knives and forks. We have serviettes. Special cups with serviettes inside of it. Um, so we set it up nice. The kids do that. Yeah, they we've love it. We've taught them how to do that. <laughs> Um, and it's also a night where we have the food on the table and we serve each other uh, the food. Mm. There's something really special in that. So we always have a meal where we can serve each other. Um, but then the other thing to keep it simple, the kids pack up. It's amazing. So as the kids pack it up, because we tie it into like pocket money night as well. Um, so they pack up because they know that their pocket money's coming. Um, so they pack it up. They, they load the dishwasher. We do the dishes that can't go in the dishwasher while they're doing that. By the time we finish packing up, the whole kitchen is clean yep. and we're all done. And the kids have pitched in uh, to do that. So keeping it simple, get... It's a family team night. It's mm. not a mum and dad putting this on for the kids' night. It's a family team night. So use the team to make it happen. Yeah, and we've also made it something special as well in the fact that we have special drink every time, like um, um, like cordial and fizzy yeah. or whatever. And also it's the night that they get a chocolate or a lolly or yeah. a very small dessert after we've done the dishes. So, yeah, because it's not a regular thing in our Because it's not a regular thing in our home. So it's a... It's become a really special night, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely. And so, yeah, but our encouragement for you is that keep it simple and keep it special. Yeah, um, cause and fun. Yeah. We've done theme nights. Yeah. We dressed up as, we did a summer theme, didn't we? We all dressed <laughs> up. We did a dress up night where we all wear, wore like formal attire and came to that. <laughs> um, so keeping it fun is, and like the song, like the worship bit, it's not like necessarily serious, like yeah. worship. Um, we dance, we laugh, we play, even the dishes. We try to make it fun, not that that always works. Yeah. But yeah, try to keep it fun and lighthearted. And one thing that's really made it simple for us is that we we have that structure that we talked about. And so mm. every week we've, we, we've got the plan. We just mm. know that this is the structure and it's predictable and it's simple because it's not, oh, what are we going to do now? Yeah. Well, how are we going to make it special? It's just we know that we start with highs, lows. We then go, you know, the things that we said about before. So that's a really important part. So... I guess our encouragement is how can you, what plan are you going to put in place um, and how can you keep it structured and simple because we want it to work for you. I've got one more tip as well. Um, keep technology away, like completely away. Yeah. So our phones, we use it for the music uh, and that's it. Mm. Um, but they stay well away. You don't even want a quick check or whatever. You This is a time for you to connect with your family team, mm. not a time for you to connect with whatever's going on on your device so keep phones away because that yep. shows so much respect 
uh, to your family and your kids as well. And for your kids as well, if they've mm. got devices, keep them away. Yeah. So we're excited to see more teams really building and growing through Family Team Night. Absolutely. As ours has, because yeah. we are Team Crocker and we love it. Yeah, it's been awesome. So yeah, check out that um, five-day free guide because that yep. will give you heaps of uh, extra... Um, I guess more robust information around all this and how you mm. can do this well. Yeah. Um, so go to our website and grab that. Uh, put it in place and, and let us know. We love hearing from you guys. Um, but yeah, let us know. How has this gone for you? Do you want some tips or advice? Let us know if you're, you're struggling with how you're going to work it out. We're, we're happy to spitball ideas with you. Yeah. Um, but we just want to see you thriving as a strong family team fueled by grace yeah so happy planning guys yeah enjoy see ya Aww. what do you think about family team night it's very good <laughs> why um because mm, we get to be as a family yeah and um that we get to pray together What's your favourite bit of family team night? Oh. Lollies! <laughs> <laughs>